Chris Tucker recently revealed one of the reasons why he didn't do Next Friday after the success of 1995's Friday was because of the Weed Ice Cube claims his Friday co-star Chris Tucker turned down $12 million to reprise his role in the sequel. The duo's 1995 comedy was a hit, spawning two sequels, 2000's Next Friday and 2002's Friday After Next. Tucker, however, did not return to play Smokey in the subsequent films because of what Ice Cube, who was also a producer on the movies, said were religious reasons. Get push notifications with news, features and more. Plus follow following you'll get the latest updates on this topic in your browser noti. He didn't want to cuss or smoke weed on camera anymore, tweeted the rapper slash actor, 52, when someone asked Wednesday whether Tucker quit over money reasons. A rep for Tucker did not immediately respond to people's request for comment. Chris Tucker Friday back then, I gotta tell you, one of the reasons why I didn't do the second one was because of the weed, Tucker said in an interview with All Urban Central. Because I said, man, that movie became a phenomenon. I don't want everybody smoking weed, and I never really told people this because I kind of forgot about it, but it was one of the reasons why I didn't do it. Because I said, I don't want to represent everybody smoking weed. And that's one of the reasons why I said nah. I didn't want to keep doing that character. It probably was good for me because it kept me moving to the next phase and next movies, Tucker added. He also mentioned other reasons for his decision not to go back to Friday, saying, I never thought about doing sequels. I always wanted to do a good job and keep moving to the next movie. Tucker starred in three Rush Hour movies with co-star Jackie Chan, plus films like 1997's The Fifth Element and 2012 Silver Linings Playbook. Never miss a story, sign up for People's free daily newsletter to stay up to date on the best of what People has to offer, from juicy celebrity news to compelling human interest stories.